Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this is take 99 for this video. Seems to have been a stream of garbage trucks, lawn services, screaming people, barking dogs, and airplanes that have interrupted video making today. But it seems like we have a lull in the noise right now. This video is about the QRP Ranger by Harden Power Systems, and a really cool solar panel provided by FlexSolarCells.com, and I'm going to put a link down below, that I'm going to use to charge the QRP Ranger when operational in the field. I've shown the QRP Ranger in previous videos here on the channel. It's a 100 watt hour battery pack designed to power QRP or low power amateur radio equipment or other equipment. On the front you have an on off switch which shows you current consumption for your load and charge status or volts. You have Anderson power pole connectors on the front to power your equipment and Anderson power pole connectors on the back. But one of the really cool features about this battery pack is it has a built-in internal 3 amp solar power charge controller designed to work with 12 volt solar panels and I'll turn that around and show you. This is the charging port. It'll take a panel from 10 watts to 30 watts. We have a 20 watt panel here so we split the difference. The Ranger ships with a standard wall wart charger but I did a little modification. I actually cut the lead so I had access to this charging plug and put Anderson power pole connectors on there. But what I did is I rotated the connectors 90 degrees so you could not confuse them with these connectors on the equipment. They don't line up. So that tells me that this connector and this plug is specific for charging. The Powerfilm flexible solar panel provided by FlexSolarCells.com came with a cord and a cigarette lighter adapter which I cut off and put matching Anderson power pole connectors on there so I could move this plug from the wall wart charger by using the Anderson power pole connectors, it allows me to move the plug for charging the QRP Ranger between the wall wart and the flexible solar panel. So now what I'll do is I'll set up this solar panel. We'll check its output voltage with the classic Simpson 260 analog voltmeter. And then we'll hook it up to the QRP Ranger and watch it charge the Ranger. Now the panel, like it says, is very flexible. You can put this in your bag and move it around. We'll move the voltmeter out of the way. We'll get that out of the way. a little Velcro strap. Here's where you connect the output. It's a waterproof connection. Snaps into place. We'll unfold it there and get the equipment out of the way. Move the QRP Ranger here. We'll get the wall charger out of the way. Sorry if I seem a little disorganized. The endless stream of trucks. I can hear them in the background. So now you can see here the Anderson power pole connector coming off the solar panel allows me to mate to the charging plug that came with the wall charger for the QRP Ranger. We'll go ahead and get the voltmeter over here and look at the output voltage of the solar panel. Now you can see the output voltage of the solar panel array here just above 20 volts, maybe 21 volts. I have the meter set to the 50 volt scale. That's the center of this black scale. All the way over here is 50. We're just above 20 volts, so I'm going to call it 21 volts out. I'll go ahead and reconnect the charging plug to the solar panel and then hook it up to the QRP Ranger. I have the camera off the tripod so we can move around the setup. Again, we have the 20 watt flexible solar panel provided by FlexSolarCells.com. And I forgot to mention, this panel is made in the USA. The output of that panel comes over to the modified Anderson power pole connectors, which are rotated 90 degrees which allows us to repurpose the plug from the wall wart charger provided with the QRP Ranger. The output power from the panel connects to the charging port in the back of the QRP Ranger, taking advantage of the internal 3 amp 12 volt charge controller. Charging the QRP Ranger, we'll move around the front and look at the LED displays. On the left hand side, we have the load current draw, which should be zero right now because we don't have a load. And on the right hand side we have the current voltage of the internal battery of the QRP Ranger battery pack and as the solar panels put power into the battery pack that voltage should go up and charge the unit. So this makes for a really nice setup to support emergency communications and prepping in general. And again I want to say thank you to Bill Harrison at Harden Power Systems for providing the QRP Ranger to demonstrate here on the channel and also to FlexSolarCells.com for providing the panel to demonstrate here on the channel. And we'll be seeing the panel and the Ranger paired up in future videos here on the channel. This is going to be a permanent addition to my bug out bag. The QRP Ranger has performed flawlessly so far when I've had it out at the retreat location. And the panel does quite well keeping it charged up. 
Thank you for watching and your patience as I deal with the background noise here at the Homestead location. This has been the Comms Prepper introducing the QRP Ranger and the Flexible Solar Panel Array by FlexSolarCells.com. Bye guys.